Good morning, Bayshore. I'm John. And I'm Krista. And this is Bayshore Rising. Bayshore offers numerous after-school activities for students. The exact times and locations for all the activities on campus can be found on the scrolling announcements on any TV throughout the day on Channel 19. Our spotlight for clubs this week will be on Studio B Players. One of the many active programs at Bayshore High School is the Studio B Players. Aside from working on Shakespeare and Comedia, they also throw an improv night every Tuesday at 7. We asked one of the longer-running Studio B players, Harley Snodgrass, just what an improv show is like. The basic improv show uh, involves a lot of audience participation. We always want the audience to be a part of the show. They're a big, they're the most important part of the show, really, because we're just up here, you know, dancing for the for the stage, and everybody else is, is going to be enjoying us. So what we do is we, we come out in our groups, we have two groups, and we have a ranking system that the audience will give us, they'll give us points, they have cards, and it's one through five on whether or not they thought we were good enough, you know, one being lowest, five being highest. But yeah, a basic improv show is a lot of audience participation, and us having as much fun as we can. Come on out and see the Studio B players perform every Tuesday night at 7. For Bayshore Rising, I'm Victoria Rucker. Jade Kilgore is a student at Bayshore that is an exceptional artist here on campus. He is described by his teachers and fellow art students as having amazing talent. Jade plans to pursue a career in art after school. Our student of the week, Jade Kilgore. Hi there, Jade Kilgore. Hey, Bill. All right, thank you for coming here for Student of the Week nomination interview. How does it feel being nominated for Student of the Week? It feels really good. I've been wishing to happen this uh, since the uh, ninth grade. That's wonderful. Uh, what do you? What are your favorite activities in school? I really like art class. That's what I really push. Okay. Uh, what inspired you to do art? What, what inspired you to be an artist? Well, mainly my mom, but also her uh, great her grandma, my great grandma, because uh, you know she taught her how to do art since she was like five. It really inspired me. She's a really beautiful artist. Are there any other professional artists that inspire you to uh, any works that you've seen that inspire your artists? Uh, maybe the uh, graffiti artist. Uh, thanks. Can you show us some of the artwork that you've done or that your mother has done that inspired you? Uh, I got a tattoo that she did. Oh, show us. Uh, what do you plan to do after school? Uh, I'm thinking about going to college for business management and open up my own art supply school. Thank you, Jay Kilgore, for coming to us. Thank you, Adele. Mr. Polly is a social studies teacher at Bayshore. He's described by his students as making learning fun. Congratulations to our Teacher of the Week, Mr. Polly. class in high school uh, was a class called AVC, Americanism versus Communism. Uh, kind of shows the day and the age of the Cold War and um, it took a look kind of, it was rather similar to economics and government class. I started out uh, in the business world and um, found out the business world just wasn't something I really enjoyed. Uh, about that time I was coaching uh, the boys soccer team at Southeast. And I had this epiphany one night. I'm going to change my major, uh, my major from from business to education. I would change. I think I'm doing it. I think I changed the way I was taught. Uh, I was never uh, the best student in high school, and uh, always tended to blame my teachers. My teachers did a mostly a, a lecture format. It was kind of hands off from the students. And um, I always kind of thought if I had a chance to go back and do it again, uh, I could do a better job than they did. I've been teaching at Bayshore High School since I've been teaching. Uh, I did intern at Southeast for a little while, but I've been teaching here for 17 years. When you travel to and from classes during the day, you will see these murals adorning our hallways and bringing beauty to our everyday life. In the last four years, there have not been any new murals added to our collection. Bayshore Rising wanted to know why we stopped creating our murals and what could be done to help bring back our mural artist.
Bayshore High School is full of beautiful murals in the hallways and foyers. These murals have been a tradition of our school for many years. However, there have been no new murals in the last four years due to budget cuts. The art department is actively raising money and looking for sponsors to help pay for the supplies needed to start creating these murals once again. Many art students, including Ashley Allen, are trying to bring the murals back. It's unfortunate and pretty not cool, to be honest. We use our own paint and we use a board that was already used from somebody previous year. We just paint it white and redo it with our own, our own stuff, so that's pretty, it's pretty disappointing. You can make a donation to Bayshore's Art Department to help bring back this amazing program that is unique to our school and showcase our artists' talents. Contact Mrs. Hickman for more details. Austin Mendonca is a part of our Bayshore Rising news staff. You can see Austin every Friday night photographing and videotaping our football games. Austin loves photography and hopes one day to be a professional photographer. Our Day in a Life series this week focuses on Austin Mendonca. I have been doing photography since I could hold a camera in my hands. I started a small disposable Kodak camera when I was six years old. Now I have a Canon Rebel T3 for taking professional grade photographs. I photograph sports for the Bay Shore Rising News. It is cool to see the expression on someone's face through the lens of my camera during the intensity of competition. I love to photograph animals even though it is challenging because they are so unpredictable and don't take direction very well. You have to just capture that split second of their natural behavior when that tongue comes out just right. Photography to me is about exploring the world in different views. Many of my photos have a deeper meaning because they remind me of a moment in time that I captured of life. I will continue to do photography after high school and hope one day to become as famous as my idol Ansel Adams. Bayshore offers numerous elective classes for students. One of those classes is digital design. Students learn how to use Photoshop and Illustrator. Our program spotlight this week shows off some of their newest posters designed in Photoshop. choices we make as teenagers can alter our path in life forever. Peer pressure to do drugs, drink, or become sexually active, for example, can have a lasting negative impact. Most of us know of someone who dropped out of high school, became addicted to drugs, or was a teen parent. The digital video production students have been creating PSAs to address common issues we all face in high school. Let's take a look. Thank you. I have many reports from students and teachers saying you're not dressed according to gender. Why is that? I just feel pretty, so I wear it. Yo, if I want to dress like this dog, I'm going to. I know you see me as a guy, but I can still be as beautiful as a girl. If he wants to dress like a chick, he can. He's allowed to dress like that. Don't try to change him. <sighs> I see. But coming to school like this is against the handbook. No offense, sir, but the handbook is just paper and staples. Actually, I am in dress. Okay, fine. But you're not. Take off the hood and the hat. Regardless of our gender, we should be able to dress just the way we feel comfortable. As long as we're in dress code.
Don't forget to come out and support your Bayshore Bruins this week and turn a hard-working athlete. Get involved and join a club or team today. We'll be bringing you the morning news each week with clubs, activities, and sports updates. Stay tuned after the news to watch highlights from sporting events and to find out what activities are planned for this week at Bayshore. This is John Connerton and Krista Edwards for Bayshore Rising. We'll see you next week.